one thing led to another. We had the most dreadful argument. I stormed out of the house and said I wouldn't be home for dinner. Oh, you poor darling. Cheer up, old boy. We all have these little gifts. You and Joyce don't. You're always kind and affectionate to each other. Well, I suppose we're just lucky, aren't we, darling? I certainly am, my pet. I wish Doyne and I were as happy as you two. Everyone envies you. No wonder the crowd come here. Your marvellous marriage is a wonderful example to us all. Oh, Reggie, when you say things like that, you, you make me want to cry. Oh, there, there, darling. <laughs> Look here, Reggie, I'm going to give you some advice. Go home, fling your arms around her and tell you love her. He's right, you know, Reggie. We women need a little tenderness. You're right. I'll do it. I've been a swine. Thank you. Thank you both. You know, I think you two are absolutely super. You two-faced old bag. <laughs> the rotten, lying little stinker. We women need a little tenderness. <laughs> I'd like to tenderize you with a bung starter. <laughs> Loathsome. You lay one grubby little finger on me and I shall be straight on the phone to my brother. Your brother? I didn't know they had phones in Fairyland. <laughs> Pig. Anyway, your family's nothing to boast about. Unless, of course, you happen to collect shrunken heads. Oh. <laughs> That's rich coming from a woman whose sister had to get married with a sack over her head. <laughs> Treacherous hag. Careful, I'll wipe darling. that smile off your face. Careful there. Remember, it's because we're such a lovable couple oh. that we're making so much lovely lolly. Oh, to hell with a lolly. Die! Ah. Die! Die! <laughs> die! Die, 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 die. <laughs> well, if that isn't typical of you two, just one long honeymoon. Hello, you. Caught us at it, eh? Hello, <laughs> you, darling. Like you to meet George King, an old friend of mine. We've uh, just popped in for a quick one, haven't we, George? Yes, that's right. Well, I mustn't keep the boys waiting. Come along, <laughs> darling. <laughs> After you, my sweet. Oh, thank you, darling. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's it going to be? Well, I... <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. Let me kiss it there. No, 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 darling. It was only an accident. Uh, What's the matter, my love? The old bunion playing up again? We'll have a couple of pints of your best bitter, please, Dennis. Certainly, I'm Keeps right. the best drop of beer for miles around. Well, I put in a lot of hard work in the cellar, old boy. Yes, he and the barmaid are hardly ever out of it, are you, darling? Uh. She holds things for him, you know. <laughs> Well, we both believe in teaching the staff the secrets of the trade. And you take old Joyce here. She'll drop everything to help the young potman. <laughs> well, cheers, old man. Cheers. What I tell you, George, a marvellous couple. Always thinking of other people. Oh, we do our best. Oh, yes, well, we have lots of love left over for others. Well, I'm certainly you've got a bit for everybody, darling. <laughs> tell me, working together as closely as you do, don't you ever get on each other's nerves? Oh, good heavens, no. Oh, no, no, no. Now, I know it sounds sentimental, but old Joyce here is always in my thoughts. Whatever I'm doing, whether I'm chopping wood for the fire or <laughs> digging the garden or even playing a game of darts, her face is always in front of me. <laughs> when, that, when that dreadful moment comes for the final parting, I only hope the good Lord takes me first, that's all. <laughs> Look at that. She's choking with emotion at the thought of it, you see. What a marvellous relationship. Yes. Makes one feel humble. <laughs> <laughs> well, Hugh, I think I've seen enough. Perhaps you'd better tell the landlord and his good lady just exactly who I am. Righto. Now, listen carefully, both of you. Yes. I've got a little surprise for you. We, that is to say, the gang who use the good old hand and flower, yes. have got together and entered your names for the most loving landlords of the year competition. Oh, did you hear that, darling? Yes. How, how terribly sweet of you yes. all. Perhaps you'd like to make it to Yes, but we've been uh, keeping an eye on you for the past few months. Yes. And I come here tonight to make the final decision. 
And from what I've seen and heard, I have no hesitation in declaring you the most loving landlords of 1973. Oh, how much! <laughs> <laughs> Look at him, the darling. He's absolutely thrilled. And it gives me great pleasure to present you both with the winner's pluck. Bless you both, you deserve it. Now look, George and I are going to nip off, round up the gang, and we'll be back for a little celebration. So, see you soon. Come on, George. Bye. <laughs> the most loving landlords. Makes you feel rotten, doesn't it? Yes, sir. I rather feel we've won it under false pretenses. I say, how about having a go at living up to this? Starting all over? Yeah. Oh, Dennis, I will if you will. Oh, Good show. Well, where shall we hang it? This, this symbol of our new life together. Over the fireplace, darling. Oh, no, darling, over the bar. Oh, won't it look a bit silly over the bar? I'm not half as silly as over the fireplace. Well, no, own. darling, you never did have much taste. Neither did you, you moronic little slut. <laughs> Is it true you've just been voted the most loving landlords of 1973? Yes, it's flaming well is! <laughs>